welcome back to my channel so first of all a very happy new year to all you guys i really hope 2017 turns out to be the best year of your life and i hope the same for me because i really really need it and for the first video of the year i thought i would move away from makeup and focus on something that i really love which is skincare because i know it's winter so none of you have been taking care of your skin as well as you should have here is presenting three different face masks using home ingredients pretty much like fruits two of these are fruit based masks so you can eat them while you make them and these are three different face masks for three different skin types because none of our skin concerns are the same so let's get into it so the first mask is for dry skin people because i know you guys probably have it the hardest during winters and so for this mask you're going to be needing a banana now i have taken a full banana and chances are that you probably do not need the full banana so i suggest you eat almost like half of it because you really don't need the full banana so after you are done eating the banana keep the remaining portion in a small bowl like this i've taken only like one fourth of it because i have a small face and into this bowl i'm going to be adding some honey because honey has got great antibacterial properties and is a great moisturizing agent moisturizing agent honey is also actually common to all the three masks that we will be making so i'm going to add a little bit of honey to this this much is enough now after you have added in the honey we are also going to be adding a third ingredient which is olive oil now this is not the olive oil that you use to cook this is for skin and hair and it's cold pressed it's by soul flower and we are only going to be adding a few drops of it for extra moisture now if you have dull skin or if you want to remove tan you can replace the olive oil with some yogurt but i will be using olive oil for this one because i have yogurt based mask for different skin type you'll see what i'm talking about in a while after you've put in all the three ingredients just smash up your banana and it will look something like this you can also put in a blender if you are really lazy and then we are just going to put this all on our face oh my god this is so slippery make sure you're wearing a t-shirt that you do not mind ruining and you have newspapers all around you because this is going to get really messy and now you're just going to let this sit for a standard 15 to 20 minutes after which you can wash it off with lukewarm water so i went ahead and washed my face and this is what my face looks like after the mask Now, i do not know if the camera is picking up but there is a very prominent glow on my face look how shiny my forehead is looking it is actually glow it's not oil it's it's really just a glow and also my face uh, my skin feels really soft it's definitely because of the banana i feel and now to make this even more glowy i'm going to move on to the next mask the next face mask is actually for oily skin people and for that you will be needing another fruit which is papaya and you take a few ripe papaya pieces in a bowl which i already have right here now papaya whether you ingest it internally or you apply it externally is great for your skin and your health and in today's i'm going to be again adding a little bit of honey and some amla powder to make it a brightening yet nourishing face mask So this is what my face looks like after washing off the papaya mask and I already look a little like a grease ball but I'm not going to stop until we get to the next and final mask. So the final and last mask which is for normal skin people the category that I personally fall into we are going to be needing some yogurt. Now um the more moisturizing you want your face mask to be the more fat content there should be in your yogurt. Personally the one that I'm going to be using which is this one by Mother Dairy I think this is fat free because this is also what I eat um with fruits. So putting the yogurt in the same bowl and some honey again which is common for all the three masks like I said I'm just going to put the honey in. Now for the brightening effect I'm giving you guys two options to choose from. The first one is you can squeeze in some lemon. 
easy peasy lemon squeezy um, or you can add some licorice powder um, this is the one that I use it's by a company called Jen and licorice or yashti madhu is a very potent brightening agent which is found in almost like most brightening serums and creams like if you check out the ingredient list you are sure to find uh, the mention of licorice and mulberry or some other ingredients so if you want you can either go for licorice powder or you can add in a bit of lemon for today i think i'm going to go with licorice because i really don't feel like squeezing the lemon so i'm going to take a little bit of the licorice powder about that much and then again mix it all together and apply it on our face this is what my face looks like after washing off the yogurt face mask so that's the end of this video i hope you found it helpful and you will try out some of the masks you let me know if you want me to do more skincare videos like these or should I just stick to my lane and do make up things in the comment section below. And I will see you all next Sunday. Once again, Happy New Year and bye.